Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, I started the- we actually finished the prologue. And in today's episode, we're going to actually start playing the game. I thought Felix and Sheba were still inside the Halide House. It's miraculous. Miracle or no, I'm just happy my brother's alive. What happened back there? Sheba. Oh. Thank the elements, she's awake. Sheba, are you alright? It's me, Jenna. Jenna? What happened? You seem to have drifted here with Felix. With Felix? Take your time. Do you feel alright, Shiva? Well, where are we? Ijima, we're all to meet here. But now, the island is floating away from Ganawan. This island is moving? I know it must be very hard to believe, Sheba. When the Venus Lighthouse was lit, a massive tremor tore us off the continent. The ground beneath the lighthouse rolled as though it might crumble away. I remember now, and that's what carried us away from Ganawan. What happened to you, Sheba? Were you in the you were in the sea and Saturos Saturus and Minardi are gone. What do you mean? Another group came, they fought Saturus Minardi, and won! Was it Isaac? Isaac... Yes, I think that's what they call him. You expect me to believe Isaac and his companions defeated Saturus Minardi. Have they really grown so powerful in such short time? But how did you wind up in a sea? When the beacon was lit, the, er and the earthquake knocked me off the ta lighthouse tower. Then what is my brother doing here? He tried to save me from drowning. Felix jumped from the top of the lighthouse? Dear me! Felix, are you awake? Ah, Felix, you're awake! Brother... Are you sure you should be standing? You don't seem very surprised to find yourself on a floating island. Felix, once you saved Sheba, you must have swum out here, correct? You must have seen this island was floating when you were swimming. But what do we do now? I have no idea. Nobody knows what lies beyond the Eastern Sea. Unfortunately, I am a student of alchemy, not geography. What is it, Alex? What's the matter? Can't you see it? It's land! An island! It's a little big for an island. It's, that's no island. It's a new continent! We're saved! So it would seem. Wait. What is it? We're going to pass north of the continent. She's right! I don't think we're going to make it! Oh, Creighton. Felix, what are we going to do? One of the few uh, dialogue boxes Felix will get in this game. <laughs> oh, that can't be good. What is it? It's a tidal wave. A tidal wave? The earthquake must have caused it. Oh, oh my, it's coming right at us. Alex, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? At times like this, where would be the good in panicking? We'll be washed away! Help! 
Crazy on the first line. And what just happened? It looks like we're all alright. And Felix is gonna get up. Do you want to check yourself for injuries? Eh, sure, why not? Looks like the arms are still attached. That's a good start. My legs are working fine, too. Yep, you're fine. Wow, that's all it took to check and see if you're fine. Then. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. What? What am I doing here? Oh, I must have blacked out when the wave hit. Hey, we've hit land! That wave must have carried us here. What luck! Have you checked everyone else? Are they alright? Uh, well, we haven't yet, but we will in a second. Great, let's go. And Jenna has joined our party. Oh, also, guys, I didn't mention this before, but everybody starts at level 5 in this game, not level 1. Because, well, I guess... Sort of, it would make sense, because they were traveling around. Anyways, let's wake up Kraden over here. What happened when the wave hit? Felix, look! The wave carried us into that continent! We've hit solid land. Let's go, Felix! And Kraden has joined our party. But he's not going to be an active member of our party. He's just there for mor moral support, more or less. The wave! What happened to the tidal wave? I thought we were done for, but we're all fine. And we've run aground. The tidal wave turned out to be a stroke of luck. I wonder where we are. We should take a look around. And Sheba has joined our party. Yay, everybody's here, I guess. Well, where's Alex? Huh. Alright, well, let's try to leave here. By the way, where's Alex gone? He doesn't seem to be anywhere on this island. You don't think he set out on his own, do you? Actually, I think he did. Otherwise, we would have found him. Then I guess there's no reason to look for him here. He might be, have gone to look for a ship. Alex wants a ship? Did you forget what he was saying? Uh, sure, let's say yes. He wants to return alchemy to its former place in the world. By lighting the four elemental lighthouses, he might just succeed. But why the ship? The remaining two lighthouses are unreachable by land. None remain to be lit across the eastern sea. So, what should we... We must go to the Great Western Sea. The Western Sea? Is that where we're going, Felix? Okay, I gotta make a quick uh, inter interruption here. Um, there is a an Easter egg of sorts, like in the halfway point of the game, where you, if you say yes or no to certain situations when Kraden is talking, you have to say the opposite of what you would think in order for this Easter egg to work. But I'm gonna try, this is the thing I was talking about, trying to do something different than all the other Golden Sun Lost Age LPs that I've seen on YouTube. Uh, what you basically need to do is there are certain parts in the game, like I said before, where Kraden will ask you yes or no question. You want to go with the opposite of what you normally would say, and when there's this part in the middle of the game where Kraden just absolutely goes bonkers, and I want to show you guys that, so... That's the little thing I wanted to do differently. Anyways. And you couldn't have told us about us earlier. But how can we trust you if you don't know why you're with us? I'm sorry, but please, you have to take me. You must. You need me. I don't understand. Why exactly do we need you? You know that I'm an adept, don't you? I can control the wind, as Felix already knows. 
You knew that she was a wind adept? Oh yeah, she was. The tourists must have mentioned it on the top of the lighthouse. I see. They saw that I was a wind adept right away. They kidnapped me for my powers. They needed them on their journey. Oh yeah, they would have needed an alignment that completed their own. They said that they would need a wind adept in order to light Jupiter's beacon. Uh, of course, and I suspect we'll need your power there as well. So you see, you do need me. Alright, I guess I understand now. But, what? You want to know what she meant by destiny too, don't you? Yeah. I wish I could read minds like Sheba. Then we'd know. I'm sure she'll tell us on her own time, won't you, Sheba? I think, for now, that we should just simply trust you, Sheba. Now I'm quite famished. Shall we get moving? Alright, now we got control of Felix again. And welcome to the world map! First off, we're just gonna go south here into this town. First town we go into. Welcome to Dahlia, guys! And before I end the episode, I'm going to go and grab all the loose items on in the town before we end the episode here. Well then, welcome to Dahlia, the northernmost town of Indra. Tidal wave left a lot of strand standing water in our village. Worst of all, it's all salt water. Ugh, that sucks. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, let's grab all these items before I end the episode. And in this jar right here, we get a smoke bone. But yeah, back in that earlier cutscene when Jenna said, Is that where we're going, Felix? You need to say no in order for this uh, Easter egg to work. And I'll indicate the spots where you need to say the opposite thing needed. So, we got three coins. Money, 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 money. Get out of this house here. And there's an old man on the ground. <laughs> I could have gone to see how, if he was alright, but I'm sure he is, so. Check the barrel, nothing there. Check the jar, and we got 12 coins. Four times the amount we found earlier. Alright, and we go up here. In this jar, there's an herb. Actually, we're going to come back to Dahlia later in the game for a certain item that we need to get. So, it'll be, I think it'll be, well, you have to come back to Dahlia a lot, so. Pretty early in the game, so. And, so, can we get to that house? Hold on. All this water here is hindering my progress. Inside the inn, there's another item. Is it in this? Yep, there's the smoke to sleep on. And that's all the items. On well, the next episode, we will continue going southward on in the Indra continent. See you guys in the next episode.